everyone. It's me, Terry of the Yarn Joy Podcast. Welcome back to another episode of Crafting with Friends. Happy Wednesday, everyone. How was everyone's Easter weekend? I had such a busy weekend. Lots of eating things that I shouldn't have, but you know, sometimes that just happens that way. Um, so let's see what it started off on, let's see, Friday. My my youngest son and his girlfriend came over. They fixed dinner for us. And, and they made this, uh, she called it curry, but she said it's a Japanese curry. It's kind of like a vegetable stew, I guess. It did have some, it did have some meat in it. Um, I really don't think that was too bad. Probably sodium in the, like, the gravy part of it. But, uh, yeah, I don't think I did that bad, except... Uh, my son had, oh, and she, we had that with rice. Okay. And then, but my son, my younger son, he, he requested apple pie and, and ice cream <laughs> for dessert. So, of course, I hadn't had apple pie since. Well, I think I had maybe had a piece at like Christmas time. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Anyway, I indulged and I had apple pie and ice cream. <laughs> but we had a nice visit, you know, with the kids. So, that was good. And then on Saturday, I had the baby shower that I went to, and that went really well. That was, I mean, it was fun. Everybody had a good time, I think, and she got a lot of nice things. I gave her the Peter Rabbit uh, that I had made with the little storybook, and so um, I was going to give him that, and then that was it. Although, I went on to Amazon, and I was looking for some other Peter Rabbit things, and I found this Peter Rabbit like activity mat thing for babies that had Peter Rabbit on it. And I thought, well, I'll order that. And I got it, you know, within a day because I got it from Amazon. And so um, I put that in there. And then I kept seeing that elephant that I had made, you know, that, that I just recently made. And I kept seeing it and looking at me, you know, <laughs> on the desk. And I was like, oh, I just have to put that in the package too. So I ended up giving her the elephant also. And anyway, everybody loved all the little animals that I made. So <laughs> anyway, it was fun. And then on Sunday, we went to, oh, and I did take pictures of the elephant. So I'll show it tomorrow in the, yard, the my regular video because I did take some pictures of him um, because he wasn't quite finished last week. Anyway, okay, so on Sunday, we went to church, and then after church, we went over to my older son, to his house, and um, they had ham, and, and of course, all this really great food, macaroni and cheese, that I think my either my son or daughter-in-law are together, they made it, anyway, it was really good, and um, scalloped potatoes, and then they had some broccoli, I had some broccoli, <laughs> um, and just... Just all kinds of good stuff. And then, oh, and then on Saturday, I made cupcakes to take on Sunday for to at my son's house. So anyway, I did have one cupcake. <laughs> um, but anyway, it was fun. And we did a little little uh, Easter egg hunt for my grandbaby in their backyard. And, and he enjoyed that. And it was, it was just really nice. I gave him the little Easter basket that I had put together for him. I gave that to him. And so it was a fun weekend. Had lots of eating, but it was fun. <laughs> and so, um, let's see, what else have I worked on? Well, I got some finishes. Um, you know, I've been working on the log cabin, that log cabin blanket. Well, I finished that, so I'll show that tomorrow in my video, in my regular video. And I finished the Victoria Shells, uh, German Shells blanket that I've been doing for here on, on uh, Crafting with Friends. So let me show you that. And I do have some pictures of a few other people that have made, that was doing the blanket along with me. So I'll put those in also and show you. Okay, so here is the finished German shells blanket. It looked like it, it, the way that it pulled, there's more white on one side than on the other, see? <laughs> but uh, I, I like it. I think it turned out really well. Uh, yeah. And so there was supposed to be, I believe, a Pico border on it. But when I was following the tutorial, this is a tutorial by Jonna Martinez. I'll link it down below in the description box. But when I was following the tutorial, she was talking, she, t she showed you or told you about where to do, how many repeats and which rows to repeat arounds uh, to get the blanket finished. And, but she didn't, um, 
I think this must be a pico shell border, and I think that's probably not pico shell, but just a pico border. And I think that was going to, that's probably on the written pattern, but I didn't get the written pattern. And on the tutorial, she didn't, um, she, it just ended. She didn't have the pico border on it, but, but that's fine. I think I'm just going to leave it like this. I think it looks fine. And when you do lay it out, uh, the, these shell, I mean, this doesn't roll up like it is the way I'm holding it. But anyway, I'm finished with it. I ended up doing, now I used Lion Brand Ice Cream Yarn. I had four skeins of it and I used, let me get the leftover. I used three skeins and a piece of the fourth one. Here's what I have left over, which is a pretty good amount. Okay, I haven't weighed it or anything, but that's what I have left over. So three and a little bit. <laughs> Uh, skeins that I used and it's it is about 36 inches square so it's good um, this is like baby blanket size um, it is a number three weight yarn that I used and I used a G hook four millimeter and so um, I'm happy with how it turned out and I will take a picture of it because I'll be showing it again tomorrow I'll take a picture of it all laid out and then in tomorrow's video I will post it you know I will I will I'll show you the picture so you can see, get a better look at it. Because I'm always, in my thirsty videos also, I, I stand up for my video in my craft room. It's just easier for me to do that. So I do. <laughs> and so I'll be able to hold up better for you. And you can get a better look at it with the picture. Anyway, so yay. <laughs> so now we go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and now share some pictures of some finished projects. Um, this one is Misty, and she is um, one of my viewers here, and also she's a member of the Facebook group. She posted this picture of hers. Now, she did do the the Pico border on hers, and anyway, so here it is. I believe hers is done in worse of weight yarn, so it's a bigger blanket, but it turned out really nice. So there's Misty's. And then the next picture I'm going to show you, this one right here. This one is Kim, and uh, she's been following along, and, and she did the blanket also. As you can see, hers is done in a solid color, but then she put a purple round a couple of times there to, just to define it or, you know, to break up the, the all white that she used. So I think it turned out really nice. And then Charlene is also working on it. She's another viewer and part of the Facebook group. And she uh, gave me permission to post her picture. Now, this is just an in-progress picture. She hasn't posted the, um, I don't know if she's finished it or not. She didn't say, but she commented on my, cause I had commented on her picture, asked her if I could post a picture of her progress. And she said yes, uh, and that she would post a, updated picture but she hasn't done it as of this video that i'm filming so if she does it before tomorrow's video i'll try to remember to, to get get that second the next picture that's you know more more progress on it <laughs> anyway so here's charlene's picture she is doing uh, look like some ombre yarn i'm wondering if that is red heart super saver ombre but anyway there it is and that is what's her in progress picture so thank you ladies for sharing pictures on the Facebook group of your blankets. And I know there's some other people that are, is also doing this project. Uh, I just have not, um, gotten pictures from anybody besides that, but I did want to share those pictures. I know Valerie of Valerie's Cuddly Cat Crochet, who has a YouTube channel. She's doing the, the blanket and I did see the beginnings of hers. I haven't seen an updated picture, um, but I'll link her channel below in the description box because she did, um, she did show progress. And then, I mean, you know, the first picture, I mean, the first progress of it. And then when she posts a new video, she'll probably show, show it completed if she's finished with it. Okay. <laughs> oh, and then, um, uh, Rosanna of Nana Rosanna, uh, crochet with Nana Rosanna. She did it, but she did a version of hers where she, um, she, because this is square, and she did it where it was more of a rectangle blanket, rectangle blanket, because she was wanting to make it like a lap, like a real chair blanket, and so she, uh, lap again, <laughs> anyway, she posted uh, her finished project and how she changed it uh, to, to be more of the shape that she needed, 
in one of her videos. So I will uh, link her channel below, or I'll link that video where Rosanna showed the this blanket, her shells blanket, and I'll try to find which video it was, and I will post that video down below in the description box so you can see hers. Okay. So, thank you so much to everybody that was making this blanket along with me. It was so fun knowing that there was other people that were working on the blanket. So, now that I'm finished with this blanket, what is next? Well, um, if you remember, this blanket <laughs> was a... Uh, I had two blankets where I showed you and you voted on it. And this was the one that won as far as which one to do first. And so, that's why I, that's why I did this one. Well... Now that I'm finished with this one, I can do the second blanket, which is the sapling baby blanket. In fact, I've already started on it. I, I couldn't couldn't wait to get into this, uh, the yarn that I had picked out to make the blanket. It is stuck on some Velcro. Okay, so this is the yarn I'm going to be using. It's Lion Brand Mandala in the colorway Sprite. This was given to me by Rose of Rose Likes Crochet. We did a crochet yarn swap and she sent me these in exchange. So I have two cakes of this Lion Brand Mandala in the colorway Sprite. This is one. I've already got the other one loaded up on my Wool Genie because I've already started the blanket. Um, so yeah, I printed out the sapling baby blanket. I've had it printed out a while. But I've got it printed out, so I went, went ahead and I was started working on that. Uh, I will put a link down below in the description box, uh, the link to this pattern. So if anybody wants to do this blanket along with me, this is the blanket number two <laughs> that that where I had the vote between the two and y'all voted on them. Okay, so. Um, I'll go ahead and pop a picture. I think I still have one in my phone. I'll pop a picture of it right here. This is the sapling baby blanket, okay? It's like a sampler type blanket with different stitches, I think. Anyway, um, so I've already started on it. Uh, let's see, I, yeah, I told you about the, I can't remember what I told you and what I didn't tell you, but I think, yeah, I showed you the <laughs> yarn, okay? Mandala yarn in Sprite, okay? I've got two of these, so we'll see how much it takes. I mean, you know, hopefully I won't run out. Um, there is 40 something rounds, I think. Let's see. Oh no, 57. <laughs> There's 57 rounds in this blanket. And it's supposed to be a 36 inch blanket, turns out to be, but she uses fingering weight yarn. I'm using a number three weight yarn, so I think it's gonna be bigger than 36 inches. I am using an H hook, five millimeter. I am on round 14 right now. So I meant I was going to finish the round, but I need to go ahead and get the video filmed. So I stopped. So this is what I'm doing. Um, I decided to work from the outside in on the cake. So I started with the kind of gold, yeah, uh, goldy color and now it's gone to the orange. So this is how what I've gotten so far on it. And I'm enjoying it. <laughs> And so, like I said, if, if there's, I know there's a few people when they did the vote, when, when y'all voted for the, which blanket for me to do, the ones that actually voted for this blanket, they had said that when I did this one, that they would want to do it along with me. So, um, so yeah, I can't wait to see everybody else's pictures, just like the Victoria Shells, German Shells blanket. Uh, if you send me pictures, I will post them and share them if you want me to on the video. So then everybody else can see your pictures or your blankets as well. Um, so let's see. What else have I worked on? Well, I actually made a backpack, buddy. I'll show you that one tomorrow. Uh, is when I still had this yarn on my wool genie. And I thought, oh, I'm going to use it. Uh, make a backpack, buddy. So I did. I thought about making an octopus. I might because I think that would be some really pretty colors or jellyfish. Maybe, yeah. Uh, but anyway, I made in, in, so I will be posting, or I'll show that tomorrow and tell you where the pattern is from and all that. So, yeah. Um, let's see. Now that I finished the elephant blank, uh, the elephant, not the blanket, <laughs> the elephant amigurumi, I was thinking, oh, I want to make another one. I think I want to make the pink version. So, I might do that. I've already got, I still got the gray yarn out here on my desk. Uh, and I think back here in my craft cart, I have the, uh, well, I know I have the blue because the last one I did had blue under the feet and in the ears. And I think I have some pink on this. If not, I've got some back there in the craft room. Anyway, um, 
Yeah. So yeah, I finished the log cabin blanket. I can show you that tomorrow. And uh, now I'm, 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 looking on my list that's that notebook right there <laughs> uh, i'm looking on my list to see uh, the other blankets that i wanted to do for this year uh what blanket i want to start next because i was able to check off my log cabin blanket that i had on my list to do my to-do list and also the victoria's german shells and so of course the sapling baby blanket is also on that list so yeah i'm working i'm i'm doing good working off that list that i was wanting to uh you know, patterns that I want to make. I'm thinking that I might make or start, I might do that today. Um, we'll see this evening uh, to start the, um, there's a, like a zigzag corner corner blanket that I had put on my list that I wanted to learn how to make. And uh, I might start that one. I've got an idea on the colors. Um, yeah, I think it's going to be interesting. So anyway, I'll, if I get it started or I get the, I, or make a firm decision on what yarn to use and all that, uh, I'll talk about that tomorrow in the regular Yarn Joy podcast episode video. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Was there something else I was going to talk about for crafting with friends? Um, let me know down below in the description box what you're working on and how your Easter was. Um, yeah, um, I hope everybody had a great Easter and, uh, oh, Monday is the eclipse, uh, this next Monday. And, uh, I happen to live in Texas and I am, in, uh, on the edge of the little piece that, that there was, they showed a map where there's like a pathway of totality, you know, where it's going to be like totally dark, um, and I am in that region. I'm not like right in the middle, but I am kind of on the edge of it. So supposedly we're supposed to have a, a darkness for like a minute and a half or something, you know. Um, the closer you are to the, the that line or whatever, it was going to be four to five minutes or something like that. Well, I'm I'm in the region, but I'm on the kind of the edge-ish edge -ish part. <laughs> but anyway... Um, That'll be fun, I guess. I don't know. I'll be here by myself. I think my husband has to work that day because it's supposed to happen around 1.30 in the afternoon. So, um, so anyway, that's going to be on Monday. So, that'll be interesting. <laughs> and um, maybe I'll take some outside pictures and say, look, this is 1.30 in the afternoon and it looks like nighttime or something, you know. Um, so, yeah, that's what's coming up. Not sure exactly what else was coming up in on the weekend before Monday, <laughs> Eclipse Day. Um, oh, I did. Um, I do need to to film the tutorial that I'm doing for the Tuesday tidbits. I need to film the next section for that. It, part two came out yesterday, and so I need to film some more of it. I haven't done that yet. Uh, I'll either do that tomorrow or maybe Friday would be a good day for me to work on that. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, that's about it, I guess. Um, uh, yeah. So let me know how, how, what y'all are working on and how's everybody, how everybody is doing, how your Easter weekend was. And, um, I may have, have like two pieces of video I have to slide, splice up here. So I don't know how choppy it'll be, but I had a couple of phone calls and things while I was trying to film this. So, uh, we'll see hopefully it'll be smooth and you probably can hear now Teddy is outside he did he wanted to go outside and he was out there a while and I thought okay well I'm gonna get some filming done while he's out there well now he's barking because he wants me to let him back inside <laughs> see <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna go oh look I put my diamond painting my new wreath up there for spring so um yeah I took the Easter down I still got some bunnies back there though um, in the process of changing things out. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I can't remember anything else that I was going to say. So I don't think, I guess that was it. So everybody have a wonderful Wednesday, wonderful, uh, midweek, uh, day for you <laughs> and come back tomorrow and we will have a visit for the regular Yarn Joy podcast episode. And I will show you my finished, my, you know, I have several finished objects, so I'll be able to show you those. Uh, tomorrow and just maybe I'll have have a decision on my next blanket that I'm going to start. Okay, I'm going to go. Everybody have a wonderful evening and we will see you tomorrow in the next video. Bye.